Now that we've understood and learned some of the formulas involved in probabilities of disjoint and overlapping events, let's apply them to a couple of our homework problems. The first one is going to be from 10.4a, number 4. And we know that A and B are disjoint events, so we want to find the probability of A or B. So remember, the formula for the probability of disjoint and overlapping events is going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So that's the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Well, we know the probability of A and B is zero because by definition, if it's disjoint or mutually exclusive, then the two events never happen uh, together. So all we need to do to find the probability of A or B is to add the probability of A, which is 0.34, plus the probability of B, which is 0.45. And we come up with our answer of uh, the probability being of A or B being equal to 0.79 or 79%. In the next problem, 10.4a number 7, we're asked to find the probability of A and B. So in this case, again, the formula is probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Well, we know the probability of A, it's 1 fourth. We know the probability of B, it's 3 fourths. And we know the probability of A or B, it's 1 half. So now, all we have to do is find out what the probability of A and B is. We'll have 1 half is equal to 1 fourth plus 3 fourths. So that is 1 half is equal to 1 minus x. And if we solve for x, we add x to both sides. We get x and then subtract half from both sides, we get x is equal to one half. So that's the probability of A and B. In the next problem, we have a problem with a 52 card deck, and we want to find the probability that it is an ace or a spade. So again, we set up the equation, the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And we know that the probability of A is going to be, well, let's see, there are 52 cards and there are four aces, so it's going to be four over 52. And then we want to add that to the number of, or the probability that we'd pick a spade. And there are 13 spades in the deck, so it'd be 13 over 52. And then we want to subtract uh, the probability that would be both an ace and a spade, and that would just occur once, so just the ace of spades, so it would be 1 over 52. So we're able to find the probability of A or B is 4 50 seconds plus 13 50 seconds minus 1 50 second, which is going to end up being 16 over 52, and I believe that reduces down to 4 over 13 and that's going to be your final answer. In the last problem, we'll take 10.4b number 11. And in this question, they ask us to tell them whether or not the uh, event, uh, the probability of A and B, is going to be disjoint. So how do we figure that out? Well, again, we understand that disjoint means that the probability of A and B is going to be zero, which means they're mutually exclusive. So, again, the equation of probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Well, the probability of A or B is 0.52 or 52%. And that equals the probability of A, which is 0.17 or 17%, plus the probability of B, which is 0.35. And we see that if we add these two together, 
probability of A plus the probability of B, it equals the probability of A or B. So then the probability of A plus B must be zero. And if it is zero, that means that the event is disjoint. In the last problem, we have a similar request. I have the probability of A, B, A, and B, and I want to find out the probability of A or B. So the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Well, I don't know the probability of A or B, but I do know the probability of A is 5 sixths. I do know the probability of B is 2 fifths. And I know the probability of A and B is 2 thirds. So this becomes a fraction problem. So I find the greatest common denominator uh, looks like it's 30, or the least common denominator, excuse me, and that's 30. So I have 25 over 30 plus 12 over 30 minus 20 over 30, which leaves me with 37, 17 over 30. And that is my answer for the probability of A or B.